so tired. What a busy day. Golden week, huh? The holidays fell on pretty good dates this year. Jeunesse will be open for business during Golden Week 2. Come for our exciting Golden Week events, stay for the low, low prices. Uh, and again, it's my fault for taking this shift. Well, I'm taking tomorrow off. Yeah, that's right. I'm free. My partner's gonna be back. Alright, time to go home and get ready for tomorrow. Let's go, Teddy! Teddy! Hello? Where is that guy? Is this him? Oh, it's Chie. Yo, Chie, what's up? Oh, I'm glad you picked up. Are you free to talk right now? Yeah, I just got off work. Didn't I already email you about tomorrow? You deleted it without reading it, didn't you? I didn't delete it! Anyway, I heard a sort of disturbing rumor. The Midnight Channel might be back again. Huh? The Midnight Channel? No way. Who told you that? An 
an underclassman at our school. I tried to get more details out of her, but she took off in a huge hurry. Dude, you didn't growl at her or anything when you asked her about it, did you? N no, I was completely normal. At least I think I was. So anyway, the girl she was with said something about a fighting show. I didn't get any details, but she didn't seem like she was lying. And hey, the forecast says it's gonna rain tonight. Why don't we check it out? Yeah, good call. If this is for real, we can't ignore it. But if it turns out to be a hoax, you better buy me dinner. Hmm, then you owe me steak if it's true. What? Anyway, I'll talk to you later. The Midnight Channel, huh? If it's true, that guy is a disaster magnet. Oh yeah, I should call Kanji too, just in case. Huh, it's not picking up. Guess I'll try his home phone, too. Hello, this is the Tatsumi residence. Oh, I'm sorry to call at such a late hour. Uh, this is Yosuke. Um, is Kanji-kun there? Oh, hello, Yosuke-kun. As for Kanji... Huh? D did something happen? I can't find him. You can't? I thought he was sleeping in the living room. But he wasn't there when I checked in on him. I thought he might be with you. Oh, yes. We're going to have an all-night study group, and I bet I just missed him. I'll wait up for him here. <laughs> okay, then. Good night. Ugh, why am I freaking out so much? This is Kanji we're talking about. So what if I can't get a hold of him? I'm sure he's fine. Ugh, damn it, I just want to fall asleep. This is iNews, and here are our top stories. We begin with a hijacking of a domestic flight to Kagoshima yesterday morning. Police began their interrogation of the suspects today. Man, things are crazy all over the country today.
Um, Yosuke-kun? Good evening, this is Yukiko. I got an email from Chie a moment ago. Yeah, she told me to. About the Midnight Channel coming back, right? Sheesh. <laughs> Bet Chie was half asleep when she emailed you. <laughs> received a phone call saying that Risei-chan disappeared. Oh, I mean, not literally, but it seems they can't get in contact with her. Really? She didn't mention any problems she was having to you, right? No, I think she would have told us if anything was troubling her. She was busy, but happy to be working. Right. And now rumors of the Midnight Channel coming back. Yeah. Well, let's not get carried away. First, we need to see if the Midnight Channel's really back. There's no use worrying over things we don't know are happening. It's always important to be sure first, right? Hmm. You're right. Thank you, Yosuke-kun. This is way too much to be a coincidence. He's not even here yet. I'll only make him worry. If anything, I should call him after I know something. No. Can't happen. It's over. It's almost midnight. Rivals! They are... Friends! Yet powerful foes! Desperate fighting program amongst high school students! A new legend is about to start! Be the manliest of all men! Come on down! Nobody touches his precious Nanako! The sister complex kingpin of steel, Yu Narukami! It's only natural. Wage slave in the boonies by day, hero by night! Captain Resantamo, Yosuke Hanamura! Everything that bores me has got to go! A spunky dragon with deadly legs! The carnivore who's discarded womanhood, Chie Satunaka! You need to eat more meat! Please escort me to the ring, my prince! The unconquerable Snow Black, Yukiko Amagi! I'll finish you in one strike! Blooming roses and bulging muscles! The blood-curdling beefcake emperor, Kanji Tatsumi! Deep into realms of romance! The body of a child, the brain of a genius, the 2000 IQ killjoy detective, Naoto Shirogane! Is this an army of idiots? Fight! And survive towards the one throne waiting at the end! The P1 Grand Prix where fierce fights will be fought! The battle begins tonight! What the hell? Why'd they call me Captain Ressentiment?
too much? This is way too much. Ugh. Was that Teddy in that weird costume? Gah, what's going on? Hello, this is Yosuke. Yosuke? It's nothing. I just freaked out when you called all of a sudden. <laughs> That's it. What's up? Hey, when do you want to meet? That's not why I was calling. I saw the Midnight Channel. You saw it too, right? Uh-huh. Teddy not tell you? Since we're meeting up early tomorrow, I decided to come today. I figured you wouldn't think I could have seen it, so I gave you a call. Uh, well, I assumed you weren't here yet, so I didn't want to rely on you. <laughs> you haven't changed. So how about it? You're not gonna leave this be, are you, Captain Rasantama? Why'd you zero in on that part? Did you see how they called you a sister complex kingpin? <laughs> Mine's not that bad. You think? Oh, I ought to tell you, that program's not the only strange thing lately. Teddy, Rise, and Kanji aren't here either. They disappeared. We should get together tomorrow like we planned. Yeah, at the Jeunesse Food Court. Welcome back, partner. It's good to be here. Oh, right. Sorry to say, I forgot to pick up your souvenir. A souvenir? Don't even worry about it, man. You sure? I thought you were really looking forward to it. Those nurses. Nurses? Yeah, Teddy asked me to get it for you. He said you were crushed that they got burned. Oh, wait, <laughs> this is all... I didn't know you were into nurses. La, 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 shut up! That's enough! Damn it, you're trying to wind me up, aren't you? Stay home, you jerk. But I'm already here. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Hello? You almost blew out my eardrum! I haven't discarded it! I haven't! You hear me?
Good to see you guys again. Welcome back! We missed you! The guest of honor is finally here! You're looking well. Welcome back. Um, should we... Huh? Oh, he already knows about the Midnight Channel thing. He's actually the one who called me up about it. Oh, I see. This has turned into a pretty thrown-together reunion, hasn't it? But I'm glad you came. Hey, Yosuke! Why the long face? Shut up! It's a man thing. Just gotta deal with it. Oh, is it about your guidance counseling paper? The teacher asked me to tell you that you need to hurry and turn yours in. Huh? You haven't turned that in yet? <laughs> Yikes! Shut up! Shut up! That's not it! <clears throat> well, it sucks that we can't hang out more before jumping into another mystery, but to celebrate our partner's return, I hereby reinstate the investigation team in response to the Midnight Channel going back on the air last night. Oh, the team is back! Just hearing that name again gets me all fired up. Yeah, let's do this! Uh, I don't think the applause is necessary. Well, let's get cracking. I mean, this is no laughing matter. No one's heard from Teddy, Kanji, or Rise. Just those three, right? Yeah. Oh, I got a hold of Naotokun, but I didn't tell her about this stuff. She told me she couldn't make it today because of her job, so I didn't want to worry her. She seemed pretty bummed that she couldn't be here, too. Yeah. Going by the pattern from last year, it wouldn't be that clear until after the victim entered the TV. Hey, isn't this the first time a big group of people was shown together? Plus, we're still here. Why us anyway? And what's up with those insulting descriptions? What bothers me most is Teddy. He was acting like the host of that show. Yeah, and we can't find him. This smells fishy. Then again, I doubt he would play a prank like this for no reason. I guess we'll just have to go inside the TV and find out what's going on. Won't we be stuck in there without Teddy to give us an exit? Uh-huh, not so. I've had Teddy keep the exit TV out on that side. Look at you, all prepared. I mean, think about it. What if we were half asleep and fell into a TV when Teddy wasn't over there? Isn't that a scary thought? Like anyone would be that clumsy. Anyway, it sounds like it's safe for us to go investigate then. Yeah, there's no doubt that something's going on in there. Is everyone ready? We're all good to go. To tell the truth, I had a hunch that this was going to happen. thinking. It's a holiday, so the store's full of people. 
Well, it's huh. a bit more pricey. I feel like things are picking up around town. Oh, that's enough. It's time to go. Oh, man. Hello. All the models are on sale right now. Uh, about you know, <sighs> it's been a while since last time. I'm a little nervous. <sighs> People in this aisle. Hey, get ready! Uh -huh. The customers are going Thanks. away. Uh huh. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. 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 I should hurry home and get to work. What the? What's going on? One Grand Prix? Do you think it's funny causing a commotion like this at school? I better see everyone involved in this heading home right now! Get this huge set. Some people are always up to shenanigans. Uh, hello. Oh, it's you, that Grand Prix contestant, Yosuke Kun. I mean, Captain Ressentiment. Oh, right. being part of it, huh? Well, listen up. You better cut this crap out quick. The student council didn't approve this. Huh? The student council? Come on. Don't tell me you don't remember who your student council president is. Student council president? Hello, boys and girls of Yasugami. The P1 Grand Prix is about to begin. Boys. Is that Risa? She's here at school? They're even using the school PA system! How many times do I gotta repeat myself? This is your last warning! Stop this at once! Oh no, it's Miss Sourpuss! She's trying to stop our fun! Everyone, get her out of here! Huh? Hey, you're kidding, right? Dude, Risa, do something about this! I 
I warned you all. That's amazing. So much for that. Then how about this? You're joking, right? Am I dead? What was that you did? should have just died. What? You aren't worth anyone's effort. You just get in the way and cause trouble for people around you. You say it. I won't let you destroy the school. You're in the announcement room, huh? Well, wait there. I'm coming for you. Uh, hey, what are you going to do? Wait up! It's too dangerous to go alone. Sorry about that mishap! The first round's challenger is already here! Huh? Me? But first... The General has a few words for you all! This day has finally come! I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix! Teddy, you bastard! What are you doing? You disappeared and we... Bring out his opponent! Hey, listen to me! Sorry, it's only me. Hey, what's going on here? Reese and Teddy both seem... Uh... Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> hey, Yosuke, can I eat you? Huh? Sure. Wait, what? Would it be better to batten you up first? <laughs> I'm not a fan of stringy cuts. What are you talking about? You. What are you saying? I, I mean, seriously. You want to hear the reason I eat meat? Because it's there! So that is what you mean. And why are you saying that like you're quoting someone? Yes, Ken. Don't worry, it'll be painless. No, nah, -uh. there's no way it won't hurt. You'll continue to live inside me forever. Yeah, in your stomach. Thanks for the food, Persona. What the hell? She has gone bye bye. Damn it, I gotta fight.
I, I hope you've learned your lesson and never even think about attacking your friends again. First you insult me, then you kick my ass. Oh, you moron! Insult you! You went on and on about how I'm a cat. And a brat. When did I have time to say anything like that? You were about to eat me! What? Eat you? That had better not be a crude innuendo for anything. I meant it exactly how it sounded. I was scared to death of you, stupid Chie. What? Oh, you're stupid for calling me stupid, stupid Yosuke! See, that's something a brat would say. There you go again! You're the brat for calling me that! Fighting yet? We're done. Jeez, what's up with this? Come on, head over to the school building. Your next opponent's waiting. I'm not doing this anymore. You're obviously fine, so I'm going home. But you can't. Chie Chan lost, so she can't even move from that spot. Huh? Ow! There's something here. No one gets to leave until the tournament's over. Only the one who fights to the bitter end and is crowned victor can earn freedom! Good luck! Well, uh, guess I'll be going then. There were four of us who came in here, so at most I need to fight two more battles, right? Are you gonna fight Yukiko and Yukin then? Of course not. The only reason I fought you just now is because you attacked me first. If there has to be a winner and loser, I'll just forfeit as soon as the battle starts. If I find Teddy along the way, I'll deal with him too. Oh, good idea. In that case, don't be so harsh on your next opponent before the match, okay? You're the one who was doing that. I hope you don't start eating things off the floor when you get hungry. Why would I do that? I'll be waiting. So be careful. Chie. You got a really small nose, you know that? Just get out of here already!
This is definitely inside the TV. What's going on? Why is it a school? Damn it, I don't get this at all! All right, is this the place? Bring out the next challenger. Hey, that's my line. Jeez, stop throwing me off like that. If you don't stop this prank soon, I'm going to make your next shift a living hell. Be a surprise for you? Bring up the next challenger! Right. Hey, Yukiko, I want to ask you something. Is this some kind of surprise party? You guys didn't tell me anything about... What's that stench? Huh? I thought there was a wet dog here. Sorry. Um, so, Yukiko-san, did you run into Teddy or Rise? They're calling this a Grand Prix and making us fight to see who the winner is. Apparently we can't leave until... You're talking too much. I have about as much interest in what you're saying as I do in Plankton. Plankton? But you can't even see those without a microscope. Yukiko... This isn't a welcome back surprise for you, is it? Hmm? No, it's a grand prix for you, Yosuke. -kun. And given what a goddamn pain the ass it's been so far, I can't wait till it's over. Dude, what's with the language? Have even you gone nuts? What the hell, man? Oh, so that's why hers was carnivore. But the Grand Prix for me? What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Now you're ignoring me? Ugh. Even if this is all an act, it's still soul crushing. Hey, listen, we can't leave here until the Grand Prix ends. So let's just half ass this. If you don't mind going on to the next round, I'll forfeit without attacking you. Oh, though if we did it that way, you'd have to fight again. Hey, Yukiko, will you lose this round for me? Even though you've lost in the battle of life? Yikes, this snow black is really bad for my fragile ego. Why is my fan so large? Why, my dear? The better to shut up that filthy mouth of yours. That's the wrong fairy tale. Ah, oh, fine. I'll end this as quick as I can, so bear with me for a bit. Wow, things are starting to heat up! Let's get this battle started! Damn it, looks like I really have to overcome the Amagi challenge if I want to get out of here.
final. But you can oh, get Yukiko, are you alright? Oh, thank goodness. You've gone back to your usual self, Yosuke-kun. What? Oh, are you back to normal too? Huh? But you just seemed so eager to fight no matter how I tried to stop you. You said things like, I was taking the easy way out. I was sure that you just weren't in your right mind. You noticed that Tere and Risei-chan are acting strange too, right? I think maybe they're under the enemy's control. Control? Who could make them act that weird? No ordinary person could pull that off. Then why would they do it to start a stupid tournament like this? In any case, I'm gonna go put an end to this Grand Prix. If it's just us four, there's only one more battle to go. And one more thing, there was a student council president. Oh, do you mean the girl with the ponytail? You met her? Mm-hmm. When I talked to her, she said she was going to the announcement room. I tried to stop her, but an invisible wall blocked my path. That girl's in danger. Really? Sorry, I gotta go. I'll end this as fast as I can and come back for you. Oh, okay. Be careful. And try to help out that girl. I'm sure you can do it, Yosuke-kun. Got it! President! Over here! Over here! Teddy! Damn it, was I too late? Ow! It felt like my butt cracked. Come on! Don't pull me like that! Miss President, are you okay? Let go of his hand! That bear's not in his right mind! He's definitely being controlled. girl doesn't have a persona, how did she get in the TV world?
Saki Senpai. Damn it, I'll save her. President. Oh, how nice of you to worry about someone else. Can't let your guard down in this battle. Come on, bring out the next challenger! <laughs> <laughs> 